Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to get progress indicator in Salesforce Lightning Web Component. So I created a sample Lightning Web Component where if I am on item 1, it will display step 1. If I go directly to item 3, it will show the progress as step 3. If you go back to item 1, then it will show step 1. If I go to item 2, then it will show the progress indicator as step 2. Let's see how to achieve this progress indicator in Salesforce Lightning Web Component. For this demo, I created this Lightning Web Component where I'm using Lightning Progress Indicator tag. In this Lightning Progress Indicator tag, we have Lightning Progress step. For each and every uh, uh, step, we should give a value and we can also give a label. Whenever uh, we assign current step value then the progress indicator will display that particular uh, uh, progress so here if i select if i uh, assign a value as step one then it will go to the progress indicator uh, a progress step step one if i assign this current step variable as uh, step three value then it will go to this particular progress step in order to assign the value for this current step variable, I am making use of lightning tab set. Inside the lightning tab set, I have three lightning tabs. A name I have given step 1, step 2 and step 3. Whenever a particular tab is active, it will call this handle click JavaScript method. In the, in the handle click JavaScript method, I have couple of console statements to find out what is the label and what is the name of the lightning tab in order to assign this current step variable value i'm using this dot current step equal to even dot target dot name so whenever uh, a particular tab is uh, uh, selected clicked whenever we na navigate to that it will call this uh, handle click and then it will pass label and name and i'm passing that particular value sorry the name to the current step variable so that it will show the progress accordingly please check the video description in the video description i have shared my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the sample lightning web component which was referenced in this video I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.